Hey, this is Astro Hoop sponsored artist Mina Bear, and I just wanted to show off my new Starlight Hoop today. Uh, Astro Hoops just released a Starlight a couple of weeks ago. It is their most budget friendly hoop while still kind of packing a punch when it comes to all the patterns and customization. Um, we're going to start at the very beginning. So they send you a little battery case. It'll come with two rechargeable batteries in it. These last six, uh, three to six hours, you know, depending on your usage, how bright you have the hoop, um, what patterns you're using. But battery life on a hoop like this is going to be great anyway because you just swap them out. So negative end of the battery goes into the hoop. I'm gonna click it in. There's two drill holes for the push button right here. So I'm going to click it into the first one. It's just a lock position, just so I can have a battery in there and have it not fly out. It's like the off position for the hoop, essentially. So I'll press the push button again, push it all the way in, make the connection. Now it's glowing beautifully. Look at that. My model is the 26 inch in the 5 Ace Polypro. This is the smallest model they offer for this specific design. Okay. So each of these hoops comes with a little remote keychain. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus on that. Okay. So you see it's got quite a few buttons on there. So you have a lot of different customizations and just different kinds of control over the hoop. So I'll hit the menu button right on the remote. Opens me up in this first bank, which is all white. This would be your favorites bank. So each of these little LED blips going down, you can save a favorite there. Um, this first one is yellow, so this is a shuffle mode. This will shuffle through all the patterns on the whole hoop. So click that. And there we go, it just changed. Change again, there we go, it's changed again. So that's every mode the hoop offers, it'll shuffle through all of them. So that's a really awesome thing to have. Hit the menu button again. I don't have any favorites saved just yet, so uh, don't judge me there. So I clicked over on the right directional key on the remote, and now I'm in a different menu bank. This menu bank will feature different patterns. So I'll go up one, I'll select one of these down here. So the white LED is my selection. I click OK. And there we go. I'll click the menu button again. I'll go down a couple. We'll see what this one has. Click OK. And we'll go back up. You actually have a lot of customization with the colors too. So I have this one pattern selected and it's kind of like a blue purple shade. Now if I click the left or the right directional key, it'll just ever so slightly change that color all through all the colors of the rainbow. So I'll click left. Now it's fading like pink and oranges. I'll click left again. Now we got like a white, darker blue. I'll keep clicking. And the color just keeps changing. So what if I want a nice pink there? So I just made that pattern pink because that's what I was feeling. Hit it a couple more times. Now we're back at like a blue color. So you have like awesome customization with every single pattern on this hoop. You can change the colors by hitting the left and right directional keys. So go back the menu. I'm going to go all the way to the end of this menu bank. All the way down to this little purple LED at the end. I'll click that. So now that is a shuffle mode just for this bank of patterns. So it'll just shuffle through. If you just like that bank a lot, you can just shuffle that bank. All of the Astral models, you know, the Atomic Evokes and the AFs, VAFs, all those models, obviously they have these same features, so that's why it's really great that this hoop also offers that. So anybody coming from another Astral product is going to be very familiar with how this menu works. Okay, back to the menu again, click to the next bank. Okay, we've got some more like sturdy patterns. These types of patterns really save on your battery if you're into these kinds of things. Click down a couple more. I believe this is the last bank of patterns on the hoop, so at the end here. Click through a couple more. So you have a lot of different, like, strobing patterns. I can't seem to find the isolation patterns. So there's also a battery meter on this hoop. 
there's a little icon right on the remote. It looks like a battery. You hit that, it'll pop up with this little battery indicator. So I just put a brand new battery in, so mine is fully charged. As you can see, that's why it goes to green. Whereas if you are kind of on the end of your battery life, more so these red orange lights would be lit. I'll keep pressing that. It only shows your battery indicator for a glance because that's all you really need. This is definitely gonna help you, you know, know where you're at. How many batteries do you need to have in your bag? There is also brightness control. Hit the brightness button on the remote. So this is your brightness menu. I'm at full brightness right now because it's daylight and I really am trying to have this hoop show up with it being the middle of the day. So hit the down directional key. And as I hit down, these lights will get dimmer and dimmer with your lowest setting being closest to the battery. So that will be your most dim, most battery conserving setting. But I'm not here for all that. So I'm gonna turn mine back up full blast. All right, I just click okay. All right, it's that brightness now. There's also strobe control. So while you're in the pattern that you like, the up and down directional keys on the remote, those are gonna control how quickly the LEDs are strobing. So I'm gonna hit down and just slow it down. And you really see that change. There's even like a little elephant on the key so you know that it's like a slower key. Um, so just kind of move that around. I'm going to pop it back up to full strobing speed. So I'm going to click up on the directional keypad and click it up, click it up, click it up. Just there we go. It's like strobing so fast you can barely even see what color it is unless I'm moving it. So that is major difference. Um, maybe somewhere in the middle more chill there. So you get full, you know, control over your strobe rate, things of that nature. That can fully change how a pattern looks by changing how quickly that's happening. So there you have it. These hoops are priced at $159, making them they're extremely affordable remote controlled hoop with a lot of customization. I think people are going to feel a lot less guilty using a hoop like this in the rain or, you know, maybe a long, there might be a long rainy weekend at a festival or something. You won't feel so bad because you're not pulling out like your most expensive, ridiculous hoop, you know? I think for the price, you get a lot of customization. Um, it's counterbalanced to perfection. I've been able to do plenty of my most technical tricks with it. I've been using mine since mid-April, so I've had a lot of experience dancing with it at this point. Um, it's been my most used hoop in the last few weeks too, just because I have it and it's new and it's fun. <clears throat> I like that the LEDs shine in 360 degrees. So you can see from the inner rim, you see it's just as bright on this inner rim where like my grip tape is as it is on this outer edge right here. Um, whereas, you know, other hoops, the uh, smart hoops will have like the LED strips that face just outward. So this hoop is extremely, extremely bright. It's very colorful. Um, the modes on it look really great. It just puts off a lot of light. <laughs> this is definitely Mina Bear approved. Um, I've loved Astro Hoops for a very long time and I was very excited for this release because I think it is a fun mix of the old school style with how smart hoops, you know, smart hoop functionality, you know, so I think that is really awesome. And I think it's something the market honestly needed was a nice in-between hoop like this. And it comes with the Astral Hoops warranty and their amazing craftsmanship. So I definitely plan on getting myself a second one and then also a larger one. Just trying to show off all of its best angles. Well, I hope this video was helpful. I know a lot of people saw this hoop and are very excited about it, especially at its price point with all the features it has. Um, so I definitely want to try to inform people as best I can. ISO patterns. Here's the ISO patterns. These patterns are super amazing on this hoop. I'm typically not a fan of the isolation patterns just because of my style of hooping, but with the 360 degree shining LEDs, I think it looks so cool. Um, what a neat pattern. I dig that. Um, let me see if I can show another one. And then I think the next one down, 
So this one's cool. It's kind of like two tracers or um, chasers rather than just the one going around. So I really like this one too. I think this one's really neat. It's like rainbow. Let's see, I'll slow down. Look how much slower that chaser is now that I just hit down on the directional pad. It's a very slow, like kind of a melt now. Well, I hope this video was informative and I hope this answers some questions people have about the new Starlight. If you have any questions or anything like that, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I'm always trying to help anybody I can if they have questions about Astro Hoops products, whether it's in Facebook groups or they send me Instagram DMs, things of that nature. So if you have any questions about how any of this stuff works, you want like better videos or closer videos or anything, I'm always happy to send them. Um, anyway, have a good week or weekend or whatever, depending on when you watch this. Mina Baron Starlight out.